What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I want to talk about something that is very interesting to me and I want to make it a riddle for you. What is something that everyone needs to survive? Some people have more of it, some people have less of it, some people really want a lot of it, and uh, at strip clubs, naked people encourage you to throw it at them when they're on stage. No, it's not sour strips. It's money. <laughs> I know, that was, a, that was a pretty hard riddle. Let's uh, talk about it. Okay, so in my closet, I have this shoe box. And I like to think of this as my rainy day shoe box. If the world comes crashing down, I have all of the essential things that I need to survive. Fresh pair of underwear, some floss, flashlight, and a brand new pair of French beige NMDs, the sickest shoes in the world. And I also have some cash, right? Now, this, this money right here, Okay, this is not the, the money I'm investing into my IRA. I've already done that. This isn't the money I'm investing into Dogecoin and stocks. I've already done that. This isn't money I'm putting in real estate. I've already done that. This is the money that I'm like, if the world comes crashing down, I wanna know that this is safe. It's, if the stock market crashes, I wanna know that this is safe, right? Think of this shoebox like your bank. If you're working hard, you're putting money in. Again, you're already investing IRAs, all that stuff. This is the money you're like, I just don't wanna lose this money I'm putting in the bank. But how do you get more money? You have to put the money in the shoebox. What if I told you that there is a magical shoebox that when you put the money in, that you're not investing, that you've already put in the IRA, you're not investing in the stocks, this is your safe money. You, when you put it in, this, this magical shoebox, more money just magically appears. I know, I know it's crazy. Max, where is this magical shoe box? I need it. It's at the warehouse, let's go. Okay, so this is my magic shoe box, my magic bank account, and a while ago I put $1,200 in here. Let's see what happened. Oh my God, what? I have my $1,200, super safe, super sound, but wait a second, there's an extra $5 in there. I now have $1,205. Max, how did this freaking happen? It's called a high interest savings account. Max, what is that? It's a savings account that pays you high interest. But Max, my money is already in a savings account. Your interest sucks, Becky. Your interest at your current bank more than likely is the old crappy shoebox not making any money. Now, ideally, you would have more than $1,200, but if you just had $1,200, you're making five, $5, right? And now some people might be like, $5, dude? I don't even care about $5. You know what? Anyone who thinks that $5 a month is uh, too little of, a mo of, of amount of money, send me five. I want, I'm gonna put my PayPal uh, down in the description. I want everyone, every single month, to send me $5. Now, Max, how do I find these high interest savings accounts? Well, there's a couple different ones, okay? Now, I'm not affiliated with them. I don't make any money from them. This is just some things that I have learned. There is a bank called Ally that gives you 4.25% interest on your money. Now, again, everyone's gonna be like, Max, you can make so much more money in the stock market, dude. Stock market yields eight to 9%. Shut up. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the money you just have sitting, doing nothing. You just made five bucks on your 1200. And guess what? Now, next month, assuming you didn't put any more money in, you're gonna make interest on $1,205. It's called compounding interest. But we have Ally, 4.25% per year, okay? We have SoFi, which is uh, up to 4.6%. There's a little asterisk because I think there's some stipulations. And now the one that I personally use is Robinhood, but the thing with them, it's 5%, which is crazy. That's what paid me the $5. 5% 5 on 1200 is 60. 60 divided by 12. Am I losing you? You made $5 a month. It's, it's, it's the interest 
per year. Robinhood is 5%, but it does cost you $5 a month to have the gold uh, to make 5%. The point I'm trying to get at, have your money make more money. Literally, if it's just sitting in a bank account, sitting in a checking account, not in a high interest yielding savings account, you're stupid. Okay, so I know that was a little hectic. The point I'm trying to get across is that if you have cash sitting, not invested in the stock market, not in real estate, you should be doing all of these things. It's called diversifying your portfolio, but you also should be utilizing these high interest savings accounts because you can get between four and 5% interest on your money that's just sitting, doing nothing, not earning any money. And these rates have not been this high in a while. They're probably gonna go down, so you wanna maximize. Most of them are all FDIC insured up to a large amount, so it's a super low risk. You're not gonna get rich off of this, but it's about getting comfortable with finances. And if you think this was cool, wait till I go into money markets and treasury bills where you can get over 5%. I tried to make this as informative, um, easy to digest, and entertaining as possible, but I could talk about this. I could talk about just interest savings accounts for like a freaking hour, dude. The point is get comfortable with your finances, get comfortable talking about finances, and just get comfortable in general. I'm so comfortable with my finances, it feels like my finances are laying on a, on a Helix mattress. Wait, you guys don't know about Helix? Oh my God, well luckily for you, they're the sponsor of today's video, so let me tell you about them. Here we go again, talking about my favorite mattress. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs. Everybody is different and Helix knows that. That is why if you go on their website, they have this thing called a sleep quiz where you enter your information, answer a couple questions about your sleep style, your body type, and all of the things that are unique about you, and bada boom, bada bing, Helix will help pick the perfect mattress that is just for you. One of the amazing things about Helix is that it ships to your door for free in the United States. It comes rolled up in a box. It is super simple to put together. And unlike a lot of other brands out there, Helix mattresses contain no fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. And now I know you're thinking, Max, I really want a new mattress, but, 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 but what if I don't like it? They got you covered. Helix Sleep has a 10 year warranty and a 100 night sleep trial. You can try out the mattress for over three months to see if you like it. It. They have financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never far away. Listen guys, I love my Helix and I think you would too. If you need a new mattress, try out Helix. And there's never been a better time. They are running a higher discount President's Day sale. That's right, you heard me right. Just go to helixsleep.com slash max or click that first link down in the description to get 25% off your new Helix mattress plus a free bedroom bundle. This is a limited time deal, so don't waste any time. Click them out, helixsleep.com slash max. They're the best. Ooh, look at this sexy lady. Hi. Where are we going? We're going to Hanny's house. They don't know who Hanny is. I am throwing a dinner party for Christian and Heidi for their wedding, woo. Can you throw a party at someone else's house? I think that's- Well, he's helping me throw the party. We're both throwing it together. Everyone's throwing a party. It's gonna be a great time. And look who's coming. Hey, man. Hello. I oh, literally know you got a haircut. You look so nice. You look so nice. <laughs> Okay, so now that we got the main topic of the video out of the way, um, I can go back to just you know the, the real important stuff because this was a hot debate last night at dinner and I need your thoughts on it. Here's the scenario, okay? This is gonna be, uh, everyone's gonna have a thought. Here's the scenario. You have your day, whatever. You go to the gym, you get home at, let's say seven o'clock at night. You take a shower, then you put on your sleepy clothes. Could be your sweats, could be a shirt, whatever, but obviously you put on underwear unless you're a gross individual. When you wake up the next day, do, are you allowed to continue to wear that underwear through the day or do you change your underwear in the morning because you've been sleeping for eight hours in the underwear? I know you're clean, but what about the oils? What about, I don't know, 
I changed my underwear in the morning and I'm burning through all my underwear, but everyone called me crazy and said, no, you can wear the underwear. But then I started going, okay, well, what's the threshold then? So seven o'clock is fine, which means I'll get home at seven. That means 24 hours in underwear. What if I, what, what if I showered at five? If I put on underwear at, at 5.30, could I wear that through the next day? What about four? What's the, what's the threshold? What's the cutoff? I'm burning through my underwear, too many underwear in my laundry basket. Can I wear my underwear? the next day. These are the real questions. These are screw finances, underwear. What you doing? Throwing another party. Two parties in one video and financial advice. This is insane. What's, what's going on today? I'm asking my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. One of them's right there helping me, but she knows. It's her sister. I think she'll say yes. What if everyone says no? I'm gonna say get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of Max's house. I gotta put two duck quacks on that. Well, while all these ladies are uh, eating 1,700 pounds of food, uh, I'm gonna go get Jack. Yeah, Dre's sick track, perfect way to get back. Wanna hear something wick whack? I got the same big back pack, just throwing big back. You know, I just want to take a quick second and say how thankful I am to have an amazing fiance. Like, I've been in a lot of crappy relationships and you didn't realize it. it like you start, you, there start being like little red flags and things you don't really like, but you just keep putting up with them. With Taylor, it, it, I, I hype this girl up so much, but she deserves it and I'm so excited to marry her. We are uh, eight months away from tying the knot and I just, I couldn't be happier. She's a blessing and I love her a lot. And I can't wait to spend forever, and I can't wait to start having little maxi poos running around. Little Taylor poos. It's gonna be the best. Poo so I can maximize my gains. I've actually switched up my Chipotle bowl. Now, double meat, obviously. Uh, I forgot what, corn, maize, uh, and then white rice. I don't even get any salsa. I take this uh, Chipotle Tabasco, which I personally think is just the best. And I just soak this bad boy in there. I feel like Chipotle is one of those spots. It's like roulette every time you go. Is it gonna be super, super fresh, or is it gonna be like just okay? But no matter what it is, even if it's terrible, you're gonna come back no matter what. Oh yeah. Hey man. Hello. Hello. Hey. How was it? Great, everyone said no. No, no, they didn't. They said yes, and they were so surprised. I and know. Sydney didn't even think I was going to ask her. The co-host of The Girl Social? Are you kidding me? I'm like, you're literally my <laughs> other half. How excited are you for the wedding? Eight months. I'm so excited. I'm so tired. I can't even think. I have some good news. <gasps> that you love me so much? Yeah. But we got an email. Um, we got our design board for the wedding. They should have <gasps> sent it to us. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't do these kind of like very specific topic videos very often, um, but the, this whole financial journey has been a is something that has been very eye-opening for me, and I want the people that follow my channel to like, I want you to experience the thing that I experienced when I realized how simple a lot of this stuff is to just maximize your money where it's possible. Um, and it's all about like understanding what your risk tolerance is. You can have low risk, it's gonna give you low reward like these high yield savings accounts, but it's just getting your feet wet. Medium risk gives you medium reward, high risk, high reward, 
but you definitely don't want to do no risk because then your money is just sitting in a freaking shoebox, dude. So I will go more in depth on this um, in a podcast, uh, you know, condensing this down into like a potato version for golden doodles. Um, might not have given all the details. I'm gonna link all of those banks that I talked about. Um, if there's like an affiliate link, I'll put those so we both can probably win, but I'm not getting paid by any of those companies to promote them. Um, it's just, it's a great first step. So, but at the end of the day, all this is just advice. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. But that will wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in. Can't wait to see the comments. Eat more sour strips and ever forward. Woof!